I did a review of this figure, the Spider-Man Retro Sandman figure, on the Shock and Awe channel. And in that, I was talking about how immediately after opening, I wanted to paint him. And a few months before that, I was talking again on Shock and Awe about how, for me, painting is me playing with figures. So, it is a day later, and I did the responsible things. I got all of that out of the way, and now it is time for me to play and to paint. There are a few things I want to do to this figure, and um, my plan might change along the way, but for now, his hair is very shiny, so I want to apply some dull coat to that and give that more of a matte finish. And do the same thing to his pants. Probably put some washes on here just to dirty them up a bit. And I don't think the sand appendages need any dull coat, but for these I'm going to apply a bunch of washes. I'm going to apply a bunch of washes to those to give them a bit more texture than they already have. So you can see it's mostly sort of a yellow with maybe some brown dry brushing in there. and. I want to give it some more variety. So that's my plan and I'll show you the steps along the way. I've got these guys on alligator clips that are going to plug into the stand to let them dry and so that I can paint the whole surface without touching it. I'm going to start the dull coat first. This takes longer to dry than these washes are. These dry pretty quickly. So I might do multiple rounds of that tonight. I guess we'll see how things go. I just want to get all of his hair. And at first, it looks wet. It looks shinier than it did originally, but it will dry matte. Do the same thing now with his pants. Okay, I have covered all of his pants. Let's see where it looks wet and where it's starting to dry up here. What I didn't point out originally was that his hips and thighs are two different colors. So this is more of a brown, and that's, I'd say, a dark tan. If you can see it, I can see it from here. I don't know, don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but um, I'm going to try to even this out as well. So for now, I'm going to prop him up there and let his pants dry. For the sand washes, I'm going to focus with these two colors. I made marks with each of the pens I had earlier here on the paper. One's a little bit green, one's a little bit orange. These two, I think, might do... might use some of the others for the pants. Anyway, the pieces already have a good base. This tan yellow. So I just want to bring out some accents in that. I'm going to do that with these two colors. The way these work, I've shown this off in a video before, shake well, and I use bottle caps. Push down, and you get a dab of paint. I'm going to heavily water this down. Good. Do this head first. I'm 
wherever it's heavy, I'm just trying to smooth out, spread some of the water around. Now, I'm just going to let all of that dry. So following up, here is one of the heads. This one looks pretty good. There's a tiny point right here where I've still got some shine. It's a bit hard for the camera to pick it up. And just behind the ear. Otherwise, I think the doll coat did a good job. So I'm going to touch up the heads with just a tiny bit more doll coat to hit those spots that I think I missed. There's another one right here. And again behind the ear. And right there. That's obvious. You can see that right there. So there's a couple of spots that I'm going to hit with doll coat. Again, just because I apparently missed it the first time. Pants, however, received a full coating and I think looks much better. However, now I'm going to apply some washes and just dirty them up a bit. As far as the initial paint wash goes, it didn't do as much as I'd hoped. There are some darker spots, there's a bit more randomness, but I wanted more coverage. So I'm going to hit these up some more and just keep doing different washes. I might wind up finishing those off with acrylics just so I have more control over where the paint is placed. So I'm at the point with Sandman that I'm about to spray him. I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Clear Top Coat Dead Flat Finish. So top coats come in a couple of finishes. You've got your matte finishes, flat, and gloss. Because I'm going to be spraying his pants, I want a matte finish, so I'm going with this dead flat. And I'm going to do this outside. I don't have a fancy spraying booth. I've just got this cardboard box that I use. And um, these are the washes. I don't think I filmed this part, but I just did gray and brown washes on his pants. There's more consistency in the color between the thighs and hips now. And there's a dirtiness all around. I will show this more afterward but I'm much happier with his pants so I masked off the shoes and then I, this is just a sandwich bag that I wrapped around his torso so that I'm only going to be spraying his pants I'm going to take this outside spray him down and then I will show you the results afterward so the other thing you can do You got these cotton swabs. Push out a bit of ink into the tip. And this is like tiny scale sponging. You can just dab it as, oh, I think this is gonna work out great. Here's the untouched side. Here's what I've done so far. And I'm just gonna keep going, cover the rest of these. Back in the garage, I skipped filming a couple of steps because things weren't quite working out the way I'd hoped. I did some washes. I think I filmed that part. And then I did a little bit of dry brushing and the results were okay, but not great. So I went at it again and I used some acrylics and again, the results were okay, not great. And I, re I really wasn't satisfied with anything that was happening. I was just about to call it quits on this project when Dan told me about something that he had to use for a cosplaying outfit a few years back. What I ultimately got was this stuff here. 
I tested it with one piece. So look at that. Now this, this is gorgeous. This is what I was looking for. Look at all that texture. Look at the color breakup. This is spectacular. So I'm gonna spray the rest of these pieces. Pretty masked off Sandman's head. And then obviously fist and forearms. So I'm gonna do all of this and then should be done, I think, finally. So here he is complete. Uh, let's take a closer look. So this is a closer look at all of the color differentiation, the washes that were added to make the pants look dirtier. And as far as the sand goes, here is how that looks. And the hair now has that matte finish on it. And this one fist. And the other. So I really like how these turned out. Overall, I'm very happy with him now. Here he is with the rest of my spider villains. And I am pretty happy with how it turned out. There are just a few more that I would like to add to this shelf. But for now, I'm extremely happy that I've got a Sandman. I hope you found some part of this video helpful. I know it was pretty humbling for me to watch as my initial plans failed and then I just sprayed over all that work at the end. I considered cutting that footage and just skipping to the spray paint, but these are techniques that I've used on previous figures. So I did these before Dan and I ever started the channel, but I did the exact same technique on Cap's pants and I think his belt buttons maybe. Um, I left the jacket alone just because I figured leather would be shiny, but I wanted to dull his pants, dirty those up. He, he said World War II, he gets dirty. And I initially used Q-tips for the first time to do Korg's armor. I just used a variety of metallic paints to give it that aged, worn look. I really like how he turned out. For Cap here, I think I used Mr. Premium top coat on his pants instead of Rust-Oleum. I went looking for the spray can, but I couldn't find it anyway. And on Ray, so for anyone familiar with this figure, those pins are white, straight out of the package, and I couldn't take the cleanliness of her boots and those bright white pins sticking through. I mean, it was, as far as SH figure arts goes, it was terrible terrible of them to put out this figure that way but um yeah i did i did a few other things to her as well but so for each of these figures i used the same techniques that i did with sandman it's just i couldn't get the sand to look the way that i wanted for him and i finally did with the spray can so i kept all of that footage in and i might do a future video where i show them off and they actually succeed so again Hopefully you found something useful in this video. I know Dan is working on several additional customs. He will have more videos. I assume he will talk me into doing more as well. So that's it for this episode. Please check out the other customizing videos on our channel. Thanks for watching.